the road to success in anything, not only in trading, to have multiple source of income. You, you have to have multiple source of income. Khaled Maziar, welcome on the podcast. How's it going today? Welcome, Etienne. How are you? I'm very really good, very really good. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that a lot. So Thanks we're going to talk about me. your kind of story as a trader, then advice you have for people. You are really good at talking about emotions, uh, mental capacity, how people can like change their mindset. You've been changing a lot yourself in the past. Yeah, that's so right. So let's begin by, can you, tell, can you tell people a little bit about who you are and a bit about, going about yourself? Yeah, so my name is Khaled Mazia. I'm the founder of Trading Roadmap and I'm a trader myself. Um, I started like everyone... Um, the idea of having this making money and having this idea of making money easily and find an easier way to make money and an additional source of income. But uh, I realized that I wasn't emotionally and mentally prepared for that. And then at that time, I was trying also to start my own business. And what happened at that time that I had a mental and uh, emotional uh, trap that I fell into and I, I had like um, I had a breakdown when I lost in my first business and at that time also I wasn't that consistent in my trading and it affects me a lot it, it affects my mindset affects me emotionally and mentally and then I realized that this was the missing part of me so the skills were there the trading plan was there everything was there but I wasn't prepared mentally and emotionally for that and then I started to work on myself, although like before I, I, I made a lot of success like in my career and um, in, in my mindset, like I lost like 65 kilograms. I was 145 kilograms before and I, I went all the way to 80 kilograms. But at that time, I was still fighting with my dark side. I didn't realize that at that time. I didn't realize that there was a beast inside me that was still fighting and I wasn't aware of that. Once I become aware of that, everything in my life changed. Like my personal relationship, my trading, my business, everything around me changing. Once I realized that it's, it's more about expanding our mental and emotional capacity and becoming prepared for what is going to happen and living in, 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 in the moment right now without worrying a lot and building all the dreams and goals far away from us and focusing on the process itself. Awesome. So we'll get back to this a little bit later, but I want to hear first. So what was it like when you began trading? What was your first moment of, first of all, getting interested in trading and how did that kind of start and happen? Yeah, so when the first time I started to do to trading, it wasn't directly introduced to trading as, as we are doing it now, but I used to travel and uh, it was fascinating for me how they exchange money, like what is the price and wh why this price sometimes is going up and sometimes going down. And at that time, I didn't understand like everything about how, how this work. And it's quite fascinating because sometimes when you exchange money, it's very expensive. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's your favor. Sometimes against you. So I started at that time to track the thing and say how it works. And then one day I, uh, I was in a, like a seminar about uh, a business, uh, internet business. And then there was a guy came to this seminar and he was talking about trading. And he started to show charts. And uh, as an engineer, when I started to see charts and patterns and, and setups, like it was like, wow, like this, is, this makes sense. I, I can do that. It's, it's, it makes sense. It's math. It's just not like, for me, it was like a magic and I don't understand how this works. And since then, it, yeah, I, I was hooked. Like I, I felt like a, a kid in a candy shop, like looking at those charts, I start to search about everything, about the charts and uh, technical analysis, I started taking course about technical analysis. So it, it, it was fascinating, the idea of the chart that, that got me in. That's pretty cool. And how was your learning curve to be able to go from that point to trading properly? So when I started, actually the weird point, because I started immediately, I started with a trading coach and I believe that was the right thing. But at that time was I wasn't prepared. So the trading coach teach you, okay, like here is the setups, here is where to enter, here is where to exit, here is the technical analysis part, the risk management part. But I believe I was missing the mindset. The, and I had that time some limiting beliefs also too because I used to work 
many hours before. So the idea of making money like easily and quickly was was kind of one of my limiting beliefs. How 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 do we really can make money in one hour than what I make in one month? And uh, at that time, I I felt that although I was doing fine at first, but when I started to really become like making money, I started to struggle because I was like, every time I was tra- taking my trading account to 30%, 40%, and then I lose it like in, in one day or two days. And it was like, I was in this roller coaster with, without understanding what was happening. But then later I realized that I, I wasn't prepared emotionally and mentally for that. Although like I used to read about trading psychology and, and like this other stuff, but I didn't realize exactly what was a problem till I realized it, it was kind of one, some limiting beliefs to that. I wasn't prepared emotionally and mentally to accept that you can do this in that way. And you, you need to accept the risk in a certain way and you need to prepare it mentally. And, and the market has no obligation to, f- to follow your plan. You have the obligation to follow your plan and follow the market, not the market are because I found this problem for many people, especially from engineering background, that they think that the market should follow their plan. And when the market is not following their plan, they think the market is wrong. However, it's the other way around. You have to follow the market and your plan. So if those two are not in one line, you have, you have to stop. So it's, it's more about, I, I learned it that later, Etienne, it was about when not to trade <laughs> rather than when to trade. Yeah. And this is one of my biggest aha moments. Like sometimes I see the setup, but I see that it's, this is not the market context. And I feel like my, myself, I was fighting with myself. I, I want to take the trade. But then I started to learn how, I, how to deal with this mentally and emotionally and how to have this mental clarity and emotional balance that I can accept the fact that this is, the setup is not ready yet and I have to follow the market. I have to follow my plan and the market and wait for the right moment. When did those kind of mindset shift happen? Was it like just like one day you wake up and then you feel something different? No, or? actually, actually, this happened actually after as I told you at that time, I was trying to start my, my business at that time. And uh, it was at that time I was working and then I was trying to start my business and I was trading and I was juggling many balls at the same time, juggling too many things at the same time. And, at that time, I felt at a certain point that I have to stop and just focus on what I'm doing because I, my business was just losing and I wasn't consistent on my trading at that time because I felt I'm under stress. And at that time, I paused like, I, I, I believe I stopped for like one month or two months. I stopped trading. I stopped everything about my business. I said, I need to reset. I need to stop everything and see what's happening. And it was something weird that happened. I I was watching like something on YouTube and then I found someone, actually, I I can't remember even the video, but it was something about emotion and how that we have to accept our emotions and how that it's okay to feel bad. And the problem is not your emotions itself. The problem is how you are going to react to it. And that happened to me. I said, so are you telling me that it's okay to feel bad at certain times? And that's okay because I thought that's I'm the only one having this problem. And at that time, I, I started to search like a lot about this subject. Like, and then I realized that there's something called emotional intelligence, which I lacked it. I lacked it my entire life. I didn't understand it at all. It was like a new language for me. And then I started to realize, ah, okay, like now everything is started to make sense for me. When I was trading and I was under pressure and I was juggling many things, and I wasn't understanding my emotions. I, was, I wasn't listening this information that I have about myself. So emotions, basically what I realized later, that emotion is some sort of information about ourselves. And once you can understand this language, and once you can realize, okay, like I'm in a bad mood today, all you need to do is not to fight this, because... I feel this in the trading community. We talk a lot, oh, ignore your emotion, just follow the plan, just follow the logic. And many people understand this by ignoring the emotion itself and, and just suppress it and depress it in yourself. What happened exactly that doesn't help because there is a, a, one of the fathers of the modern psychology, uh, Carl Jung, he said, 
what you resist per, not only persist but only a, a grow in size so what he meant by that when you suppress a feeling within yourself what exactly happened this feeling is start to grow and getting bigger and then start to control your life from there rather than doing this you have to understand okay the feeling is there and we have to create this space between i am the feeling like i have fear rather than i am fearful so creating this space that i can become aware that there is fear i can become aware that i feel fear but i i don't need to react to this fear yes the fear is there it can be there that's fine and it's absolutely fine to feel fear rather than just reacting to this fear or just to stand there and observe it and just breathe and make sure that i will still gonna act not react act on my best interest and act following my plan and act following the thing that gonna put me on the right path rather than just reacting like when 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 i just got the hype and being a slave to my emotions so in your opinion what is emotional intelligence and how does it relate to trading so emotional intelligence is basically that we become aware more of the emotion that we have in our body so there is there is a difference between the emotion and the feeling itself so the emotion it it is a chemical reaction that happen in your body when you feel excited when you feel scared when you feel very happy when you feel whatever you're feeling this this what is happening in your body this is the emotion itself this is the chemical reaction itself and then there is the feeling the feeling is it is like the interpretation of this emotion so let me explain that so sometimes your heart is just beating very fast sometimes that's that's from excitement sometimes that because you you are you are afraid you are in a dangerous occasion so your feeling gonna gonna decide uh, whether i i should feel excited i should feel very happy now or whether i should feel fearful and take another action and the emotions like it it's program in our dna based on our evolution that happened to us and it is there just to protect us we need to act in in certain times especially when we are in danger however in trading it should be totally different because when we are in trading your life is not at danger there is no threat in about you are not threatened you are not going to die if you're going to lose this trade you are not going to die if you're going to miss this trade i believe we still we still perceive the two messages the same and, and and this is this is exactly what what emotional intelligence is on about is having this space between okay like i feel fear now and it's okay i feel fear because i missed this trade i feel fear because i have two losing trades or or i have a a drawdown or 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 having this rather than just reacting immediately and just acting in impulsive action or taking impulsive trades or emotional trades or or just fight back to the market you need to s- sit down and relax and see okay like what should i do next but you will not be able to say what should i do next without pausing for a moment and realizing what is happening for you right now is absolutely fine it's something that's happening to everyone and the difference between people who take action and take reaction is being prepared for that and being mentally and emotionally prepared for that rather than just okay and i'll give you an example like when when someone is taking a trade most of the time when like i'm talking this from my experience when we all started trading we are only thinking about that the target okay this is this is the reward this is 3r but we are not we are not focusing on the risk when you become aware that okay i am mentally prepared that this trade might go wrong and when it goes wrong i going to lose 1r and my stop loss is there and i going to exit and i'm prepared for that this is start to work well but then i realized another thing when you have too many trades to you need to be prepared to knowing all your risk so i found the emotions and the risk are totally like they should be in the same place you should put them together you should understand that you need to expand your mental capacity by being prepared for that by saying by rehearsing that okay like now i have three opening trades my total risk is that amount of money 
and I am mentally prepared to this amount of money. And if you are not prepared to lose this amount of money, you have to stop. You shouldn't take one more trade. You should stop what are you doing. You shouldn't trade anything at all. What people do when they, many people do when they have many opening trades, they don't know how much they are risking. They are only looking on oh, if, if these trades are, are going to go well. I have like 10 R, I have like 20 R, I have like this amount. But they don't think, okay, like what if it doesn't? What if these trades are not going well? That is going to go to the other direction. So, Becoming more aware of this space between being mentally prepared that there is a risk there and you have to accept it and being emotionally also, and this is what I mean by emotional capacity, be, being prepared emotionally that I will accept whatever going to happen with, within myself and I will accept it and I will pause and then I'll take a deep breath and I'll pass. This is one of the common advice that people hear so often, but then they don't really internalize and apply it. Like, People here everywhere, oh, you should, you, should, you should be risking only money you can afford to lose that you're, you're willing to lose. Exactly. But then they are willing to lose it knowing that they will make money later, which is not what you want to do. You want to be willing to lose even if you make no money later. Exactly. Thanks for thinking that, HM, because I felt also the problem, as you said, that we are only at first when we started, we were just focusing on the reward. It is all about the reward. It's all, it's all about, oh, I got to make 5% a month. I got to make 10% a month. In five years, I'll have this amount of money. If I can make 1% a day, like, you know, those kind of things. And you start to do with the compound interest calculators. And you said, oh, I got to be a billionaire after like 10 years. And it is just this craziness. But then uh, sometimes, actually, one of the questions that it changed the root of my life was, what if I am wrong? Like I ask, I always ask myself this question. Whenever I feel like I feel euphoric or I feel like I become arrogant or something, or I feel like I, I feel that I achieved something very big, I say, okay, what if I am wrong? And then I start to part this when I work with someone or when I talk to someone, I say, okay, like you have this opinion, which is awesome, which is amazing. What if you are wrong? What, you, what are you going to do if, if this is wrong, if this opinion is wrong? Because I, I believe also, Etienne, is, and, and I, I want to thank you also because you, you are talking about this a lot, but I believe this message is misunderstood. People don't understand when we talk about mindset all day long, it's a lifestyle. It's not, it is not just your life is mess, and then when you sit in your laptop and start to trading, you will become some, like somebody else. Your entire life should be in line. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. You, you can't be mess outside of trading and like just, just everything is going wrong. And then you realize, ah, okay, like when I sit on my laptop, I'm going to follow my plan. I, I would ignore my emotion and I'll, everything going to be right from there. And your relationship is mess, your work is mess, your business mess, and everything is mess outside of that. It can't be like this. And, and this is why when we talk about mindset, it's a lifestyle. It is not something that, okay, I'll have the, the millionaire mindset when I set to trade, but then I will have like a drunk my, mindset when I do everything else. It doesn't work like that. I get a lot of people reaching out by email or on social media that ask, so they are trading and then they have a hard time. Like they, they feel stressed all the time and they cannot control what they do when they trade. What would be your advice to them? What would you tell them to do? So the first thing, I realize this problem with many traders, especially with the stress, it comes sometimes from one, they don't understand their current situation. And what I mean by that, many people, they think about, okay, I want to trade. So trading going to be, uh, I, I, I will get income from trading. And they start to think, oh, I want to be a full-time trader. Okay, that's awesome. Now, do you know how much do you spend a month? They don't know. Do you know your expenses? They don't know. Do you know how much do you need to live? Do you know, are you prepared to sacrifice and go down a little bit and stop stop spending money on stupid things in order to increase your capital and work on something else? Are you are you prepared to work on your mindset, to your network, your skills, the tools that's gonna help you, your time? Are you going to invest on, four, on those five things? Many people they are not prepared for that. So my first advice, know where you are right now. What's your current situation? If you have a job, okay, 
how much do you make from your job? Are you being able to live from that amount of money? How much amount of money do you require in order to trade full time or start a business? Because many people, when, when we talk about trading, they think that trading should be your only source of income. Being a, being a good trader or successful trader doesn't mean that you should only have one source of income. And I believe that's a myth too. People think, ah, oh, okay, you only should have one source of income. I believe that the road to success in, any, in anything, not only in trading, to have multiple source of income. You, you have to have multiple source of income. This is because you have to make sure that your trading account has nothing to do with your bill that you're going to pay by the end of the month. This should be taken care of. You shouldn't be trading right now, waiting to pay the pill from your trading account. I'm not saying you can't do that, but think about the pressure that you're going to have, especially if you have kids, if you have family, if, if you have a lot of expenses that you cannot, you cannot do. So you need to understand your current situation. How much do you, do you need? What's your expenses? Then move next to your trading plan. Do you have a trading plan? Is it, is, it, is it profitable? Did you test your trading plan? Do you, do you many people, they, they say, oh, I have a trading plan. I'll say, do you have a journal? They don't have a journal. So how do you know that? Are you following your trading plan or not? Because if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. If you are not recording it, you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. So there is no way we know where is the problem. And I found this with many people, like when they say, they talk about all the executives and they say, okay, like, what are you doing right now? Like, I want to talk with you about you. What are you doing right now? They are waiting for something to happen to them and then everything going to change. So the first thing, you need to understand your current situation. You need to understand your, your expenses. How much, how much do you want? Where do you want to be exactly? How much amount of money that you want to make? What's your current circumstances in case? What's your skills? Do you have, I believe there are five things that everyone should be working on. Your skills, your network, your time, your mindset, and the tools. And when I say here tools, there are tools that you can use that make your life easier. So you should have like a, a charting platform that give you alerts to your phone or something. This is, this is a tool that's going to enhance the quality of your life. So this is, this is a good investment for you because when we start to think about this, spend money or that. If you don't have that amount of money now, I understand this. You have time, so you can spend a lot of time, not, not necessarily working on your charts because your $200 account or your $1,000 account will not going to double or treble next day. And instead of doing this, try to connect with other people, try to connect with mentors and approach them and say, okay, like I can do this for you. I, I, I'll work for you. I, I, I will help you with something. What, what are the skills that you have right now? You can do start something online. Many people, they don't think I call it the hidden treasure. I believe every one of us has what I call it the hidden treasure. You have a skill that you really love, you really like. If you can work on this skill and make this skill make you money along with trading and then maybe your skill someone is still going to be trading. Awesome. If you, if, if you just want to focus on trading, start to work on your mindset, your, your plan, and show other people that you can do this and people are going to give you money to trade. And I, I, I want like this is a request for you, Etienne, because you are doing this. I want you like to have like a program or something like to, to raise awareness for people that this is something can be done. You, you, can, you can really learn the skill first and then start to invest in other people's money. Or you can really do this by starting like a business and alongside you start investing your trading too. Because I believe people just think in one way. There is only one way to make money and it is just making the $1,000 tennis to $1 million. This is not the only way to make money. There are many other ways that we can make money with trading too, but you can use the amount that the money that you're going to receive from this place to increase your account. As, as, as like, you know, I believe Jim Rohn said this, uh, you know, like you need to spend like, you, you make sure that between 55 or 60% of what the income you have is your, uh, is what these are your expenses. And then you need to give like a, uh, five to 10% and then you need to invest in yourself around 10% and then you need to, to invest to, to invest in your like a passive income with like 
ten percent, tell tell like twenty percent. You can play with those numbers, but I believe those numbers should be there. Those those numbers should be a plan. And if, if someone has like a small account now, this is how to start. To start with whatever you have right now, because you need to build the habit first. Because I believe all the stress for us, again, answering, we're still answering the question that all the stress is coming from having this unrealistic expectation because you have a small amount of money. So what I realize most of the time is that people have income problem. And this is the problem that we want to solve. If you have an income problem and we are aware of it, awesome. That's good. That's good. We are now aware what is the problem. Let's work on this income problem. Because if you have, if you can, inc if, if you can increase your skill and your network, then the income will never be a problem. Because if your skill is there, you can, you can make something that other people going to invest in you. You can, you can have something that other people going to say, okay, like I'm willing to give you money or, or, or trade with you or, or trade or, or, or invest in your business or help or, 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 or invest in your uh, service or pay for your service if you are helping other people do something. So this is me for everyone. If you are struggling and this, this is very important. If you're, the income is your problem right now, you have to work on your skill and your network and your mindset, your time, your tools, Start first with your mindset and then your skill and your network. If And those easily can be, it's yeah, like you, you, how you started, you started, and I, I, I really love this story when you shared it before. You message, you started to message trader and email them and you, you set a target. I will send five emails every day. And this is, and I like that when you put it, you put the process. You didn't say, okay, I don't know how many of them going to reply. It's, it's, it's about putting the process. So what you can do, you didn't think about, oh, I didn't have this. No, you thought about what I can do. And this is from Jim Rohn who said, if you really want to do something, you will find a way. If you don't, you will find an excuse. And I totally understand sometimes we don't have all the capital or all the necessary stuff. But if you are really willing to take action, you will find the processes very easily. You need just to approach more people, increase your skill, increase your network, invest more, invest more time at first. Then after that, you're going to invest money to buy the time back. And then that's when you're going to have, okay, now I take like two days off. I don't work because I don't need to do that. I used to work like 16, 17 hours a day, but now I don't need to do that. But you need to invest. This equation is, is just that simple. You have five things that you need to work on. Your mindset your network, your skills, your time, and the tools that's going to support your journey. If you can work on those five, I can't imagine that you will never, that someone can, can have those five things or working at least on those five things and they will not succeed. There is no way. One thing that makes me laugh is people that say, um, oh, well, I'll trade right first. I'll be able to kind of make money trading and then later I'll work on the mindset. But you cannot like put it to later. That doesn't work. It, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Like I, I made this mistake and I remember it's, it's a funny story. Um, when I was working with the, my coach at that time and I was just eager about the money at that time. It was like, it was fascinating idea for me that I can sit on an hourly chart and make this amount of money that was more than the amount of money that I used to make working like 18 hours a day. And then my mentor at that time said, hey, like you need to work on your psychology. He, he, he saw it. And then I said, ah, like heck, heck the psychology and those kind of stuff. Just show me the money. Don't worry about this. Like I said, like, no, I, I have the mindset. The mindset is good. Like I, I, I learned this the hard way. So the first thing is your mindset. Your mindset is number one because your mindset, when you start working on your mindset, people going to start First, you, you, you're going to shift your perspective from just thinking. It's, I always say that it's, it's from I am the problem to that I have a problem. It's about creating this space between you and the problem. You are not the problem. You have a problem. And once you start approaching him from this perspective, okay, and if you have a problem, you can definitely solve it because there is someone else in this universe who had the same problem before and they solved it. 
So all you need to do is just search. And now we have, I believe now the other problem we have, Etienne, if you agree with me, that we have so much information. Yes, insane. Sure. It's crazy. Like just just type trading, just type psychology, just try making the money, and you will find trillion zillion posts on something about how you make money, free and paid, and coaches and mentors and everything. YouTube, Google, everything you have. So there is no more excuses now. I believe the problem now that people have that because I I, I want to try everything. And I totally understand this because when you, when you start something, you, you want to explore, you want to try everything. So what I would do, you want to first you choose something that's going to be in line with your lifestyle. And I mean current lifestyle. You don't need to change your lifestyle immediately. Choose something that in line with your current lifestyle, your risk tolerance, and your personality. And then from there, working on your mindset, you can move forward. Working on mindset... This is how every like this is how it works. Like it, it is not magic. It might take time at first, but once the momentum kick in, it is just go. It it it, it will not stop. It is once it, it's like when you are pushing a train. At first, it's gonna be very hard, but once the momentum gonna kick in and the train gonna start working, you you will never be able to stop it. And you make sure that as, as long as we are making sure that it's it's moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what the regular habits do. Like once you have the right habits set up, then you have the momentum. If you fall one day, then that's fine. But if you fall multiple days, then that's what, that's what the problem is. So that's totally right. That's totally a good idea. Exactly. And uh, from, from what you said also, the idea of having this listening always to the feedback loop. So yeah. it is not that I work with my mindset and I have my trading plan, then everything going to go well tomorrow morning. It doesn't work like that. There is a feedback loop. So you are always want to have this scientist mindset. So I'm always experimenting. I'm always listening to what is happening. I'm always listening to the feedback. So if, if the feedback, I always say it like this. So you have an idea of what's your, what's your outcome is. And then you are working on, on, your, on your process. And then you have an outcome from your process. So then you start to compare it. Okay, here is my outcome. And here's my desired outcome. Are they same? If they are same, okay, congratulations, you got your, your goal, move to the next one. If they are not, then we have to pause and say, okay, like there is something wrong here. It's either that I'm not executing the process right, so we have to check that, or it's either that the process has a flow and you have to, to check that. I hope, hopefully I'm not oversimplifying it, but it is that simple. It's, it's either the problem in you executing the process or the process itself needs some adjustment. And this is, comes from the opening mindset, like being open. It's not that I have one trading plan or uh, actually because Etienne, I, I had this, I made this mistake before. So I thought only before that there is only one trading plan that should work and there is only one time frame and everyone else who should trade something else is stupid and dumb and it is just crazy and you shouldn't do that and then I realized that that was just a stupid it's like saying that I love this food and everyone should love it like it's just crazy we need to be open like okay like there is something that suits every situation whatever your situation that you have right now there is there is there are going to be something that's going to work for you. You need to pick and choose, again, what's going to work for your uh, lifestyle, your risk tolerance right now, your personality. And then listen to the feedback loop and always listen to the feedback loop. This is, and this is a process. It's a nonstop. There is no, I always say this a lot. I said success needs maintenance. There is no one point that's called success. Success as a one point doesn't exist. There is no one. Okay, now now I'm uh, I have a I have a good month, so that means I reach it everything in trading, and I should start just ignore my mindset, ignore my plan, and ignore everything because I reach it. You cannot do that. Success needs maintenance. You need to keep going in the process and enhance the process. And uh, there is something that I learned also from Tony Robbins. He he used to say. Um, that there is a question that every person is asking to himself or to herself. And he said this question for him, how I, how I can make it better. So he, he's always thinking about how to enhance the process, how I can make it, 
how can I make it better? And I believe he shared one of, uh, he, he was talking about one of the program that he had and people said, he made it like, you can change your life in 30 days. And people said 30 days is too much. And then he enhances the program and he made it seven days. And people are, we don't have seven days. And then he started to do like seminars one day, two days. Like he said, I cannot make it shorter than this. Like, you know, he was just, but I, I, what I mean that he was working on enhancing the process. He doesn't stop and say, no, no, people are dumb and it doesn't work. And it should be only like the program is only 30 days or, or it's working for me for 30 days. So it should work for everyone in 30 days. He was always looking consistently on how to enhance the process. This is same with our trading. Like if you are a breakout trader, you need to understand reversals. If you are using only reversals, you need to understand breakout. If you, if you, if you are trading shorter time frame, you need to have the context from a higher time frame. If you, are, if you trade higher time frames, you need sometimes to go to lower time frames to learn the story of what is happening right now. So I don't think there is one size fit all in, in life, not only in trading, but I'm just talking about specific examples in trading. And we need to have open, more, be more flexible and open-minded about different ideas. And, and this is how we're going to grow. Like, I really like when people share ideas about trading. And he said, you know what? Like, I never thought about this before. Uh, sharing ideas about what's your like your ritual in the morning about your mindset and when you share this people start to feel like wow like you know like uh, first thing people f understand that you are not the only crazy person in the universe some other people have problems too and second thing when we start sharing and having your own network which you should have by the way and it shouldn't cost you anything you, you can just start having like four or five traders that you work with if you are a program that has coaching program or something, this you should choose kind of people that's going to be your accountability partners. And you should start building your own network. So much we could talk about this for sure for hours and things that 100%, are on side yeah. of that. I want to wrap it up though. So where can people find you? you know, can I put you or reach out after this podcast? So you, they can find me. My website is tradingroadmap.com. And uh, I also am Facebook and Trading Roadmap. This is my Facebook page. Perfect. And I like to ask my guests, so what are your goals for the future? So my goals right now, are first for myself is making sure that I'm always focusing on that success needs maintenance and I'm always focusing on how I can enhance the process, how I'm always looking to improve, how I will always looking to seek mentors and coaches and never reach a point saying that, it, I just reach it or I just going to stop here. The second thing is for trading roadmap when I help other traders to gain mental clarity and emotional balance. And we would like to have uh, more uh, people uh, in, like it affects, uh, impact the life of other traders and people also. Nice. And what's the motivation for that? Actually, the motivation with that, as I said, it, it was my personal experience that when I, when I had the struggle myself, uh, when I had the struggle myself and I felt like it, yeah, it, it was actually, I, I, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes when I say, but it's, it's really, it, it's, it, it crushed my soul at that time. And I felt like a failure. I felt like the life is not going to enhance again and everything like was dark for me. And I realized at that time because I wasn't mentally prepared for that. I wasn't emotionally prepared for that. But once I realized that there is a solution for this and we can, we can work on this, I felt like there is an obligation to start sharing with this with other people and helping other people because there are, there are some other people might be struggling with and they don't realize that there is a solution. And if you check like, uh, I think this is the health uh, organization it shared that one of four people gonna have a mental uh, problem in their life uh, which is huge like you, you are talking about like huge number of people are struggling with some mental health so if we if, if we can solve those issues at least in our part in, in the trading community at least this is gonna be like our giving back to the community that's awesome. Really cool, really cool. And Khaled, I have one last question I want to ask you. So if you could give people one piece of advice on how they can thrive and really kind of share the result as traders, what would that one piece of advice be? It's, it's, it's always going to be that 
work on the five things that I believe those are the top five things that you need to work on. Number one is your mindset. Your mindset is number one. Whatever, whatever your goal in trading is, work on your mindset first. Work on your network. Make sure that you have, the bigger your network, the bigger your wealth. Whether, whether you are in trading, whether you are in business, whatever, whatever like your, your life path is going to push you, you need to work on this. Your time, work on your time. Invest, invest your time to learn you. Invest in your skills and invest in your tools. And be emotionally and mentally prepared for risk. It's 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 not only about it's not only about the money. The money the money definitely will come if if you are taking care of those five things. The money will come, no doubt about that. Thank you so much for having me here on the podcast. Thank you very much. So much, Etienne, for having me.